A vote. In which areas do ceramic membranes already contribute to increase the sustainability and cost effectiveness of industrial processes? Yeah, today, most of the ceramic membranes are applied not in, yet in industrial processes, but in, uh, in food and beverages. So, uh, for instance, for the um, um, cold sterilization of um, drinks uh, like wine or beer or milk, and the advantage is uh, that the ceramic membranes are stable and can be uh, cleaned by steam, which is very common in, in uh, food and, and beverages. Mm -hmm. Other membranes are not stable under these conditions. And by cold sterilization, you do not influence the taste of the, of the food or beverages. Uh, in, co uh, in contrast to uh, other, other possibilities like um, pasteurization. So what future trends do you see? Yeah. I guess that uh, the big future trend is the application of, of inorganic or ceramic membranes in, in chemical industry. Today, mm -hmm. in uh, chemistry and process engineering, separation uh, are performed by um, thermal processes like distillation and extraction. Mm -hmm. This is very uh, energy consuming. And um, if we are able to develop selected membranes, then we can replace these level separation processes by membrane processes. We can we get smaller um, plants and we reduce energy consumption and at the end the, the process is much cheaper. But what exactly distinguishes ceramic membranes from other materials? Yeah, in membrane, in membrane science or membrane technology, we often have the discussion about the pro and cons. Uh, ceramic membranes are in competition sometimes to polymer membranes. Mm -hmm. And the advantage is that the ceramic membranes are much more stable, so you have a longer lifetime. The stability uh, uh, in temperature, in, uh, in high pressure, uh, and also in, in aggressive chemical environment is, is much better than uh, of the polymer membranes. The polymer membranes has the advantage that at the moment there are, they say, often are higher selective mm -hmm. uh, and that's uh, the future trend I see that uh, we have to focus on the development of more selective membranes for special gas separation processes and if we will succeed in this uh, um, uh, research, then we will have much more applications for the membranes than today. And how can the advantages of ceramic membranes be exploited in even broader fields of application and what needs to be done scientifically? Yeah, first of all, uh, uh, we need more references. Mm -hmm. So if you have a new material and also in the field of membranes, if you have a new membrane, then it is very important to demonstrate that, that it has it performs better, it has a and it has a, a long-term stability. Mm -hmm. And this can only be proven by um, uh, by references, by pilot installations. So this is a question of, of money, who invests in a pilot installation. Mm -hmm. um, so we uh, have to uh, look for bigger projects, for bigger pilot projects, to get more of these references and then um, uh, it will be uh, much easier to convince uh, other people to uh, take these membranes and to, to the membrane technology for their processes. This is a an, an, an very important point. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I already said, uh, it, it's important to, to look on, uh, on uh, applications with a high benefit if you are able to uh, run it more efficient and, and we should focus on these applications and to, uh, we should develop membranes especially for these for these applications and we're with with every effort in the field we uh, we get uh, more uh, we can, can convince at the end more more people and uh, um, uh, of this new technology much success for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.